Welcome to our today's topic. Today we are talking about earthing, a very important aspect when it comes to electrical installation, especially in a home wiring or basically the domestic wiring. Now, if someone has ever told you that they received an electric shock, be it while operating a certain appliance, then you know that you are in the right place because you know what? We will learn about that. We cannot talk about earthing if we do not know the color codes that you are supposed to be using in this case. The wire that we are supposed to talk about is this green and yellow stripes. So when you are doing your electrical installation, you must ensure that you do not miss on this. Especially when you are doing the electrical wiring for a home. So that in future, if there is a problem when it comes to electric shock, then the future electrician will be able to know which wire to follow or which cable to follow so that they can solve the issue. Remember, in our electrical installation, we normally begin with the end in mind, meaning that you will consider that electrician that will come in future. So you do not want to use wires that are not the correct color code smash like button if you are ready to find some value in terms of acting we definitely cannot talk about the topic of acting without us mentioning these important apparatus here this is referred to as an earth road an earth road is where now you will terminate this cable here as well as on the meter box and i will be showing you how to do it and when you terminate it this Earth road is normally immersed where it belongs, the earth. When you immerse it in the earth, look at the surface area that it provides so that it may dissipate electrical charges. An earth road is important, especially when we talk about the surface or when we talk about the ground where it will be immersed. Because you know what? Ground in this case matters a lot are you looking forward to enhance your skill set when it comes to domestic electrical installation i put together a course where you will be able to learn more when it comes to domestic single phase installation i have done an electrical installation in a three bedroom house from start to the end we have the instant shower head circuits which are two of them we also have the cooker circuits, the sockets, the lightings. And I've demonstrated more on my practical board. And I have explained step by step on the entire process. You will learn a lot, enhance your skills, and be able to earn from your skills over time. Now, I have an early bad opportunity for the first few people, whereby I'm giving you a discount of more than 50% of the cost of these costs all you need to do is to apply our coupon code which is top boss one the link is on the description and all you need to do is to use our coupon code which is top boss one and get the early bird opportunity before it goes away hope to see you click on the link that is on the description okay let's get back to the video my name is John and I'm fired up to talk about this aspect of earthing. Where are you following me from? Appreciated your presence here. When you talk about earthing at the meter box level, we really need to understand that. For our case here in my country, we normally look earthing at the neutral, you know, the neutral where you terminate the drop cable from the national grid. You loop it at the output and so you terminate at the meter box because you know what? The meter box is metallic and it has to be asked so that in case there are excessive charges on this meter box, then they will find their way to the ground. Also, the cable that comes from the consumer unit will be terminated all the way to the ground where it will be in contact with this at the road. Now that being said, what if someone tells you they are receiving an electric shock in the house? Where do you even begin as an electrician? Now you will start by asking them, where are you receiving the electric shock? Because 
In most cases, you'll find that it is not every part of the house that they are receiving an electric shock. Maybe they are receiving an electric shock while in the shower. Or taking a shower or probably in the kitchen they are cooking using their electric cooker or the microwave you start there assuming they tell you that i have received an electric shock when i'm ironing so it means they are using this iron to iron their clothes this iron box and therefore whenever they touch this metallic surface they are receiving an electric shock but where do they connect it probably they are using an extension cable now when you're using this extension cable will ask them if you connect it directly to the socket are you receiving an electric shock no then you'll know that this is the suspect it probably is faulty you go ahead and fix this extension we'll screw all of these screws and check for any problem that is in there or probably you will first come to this top plug here and open this top plug in case there is charges that are leaking from the face connection to this connection here this connection the long leg is for the earthing connection sometimes you'll find that this extension is faulty in a manner that earth connection is not able to dissipate charges from any appliance that has been connected here meaning it will not even send a fault you know a face to earth fault to this consumer unit here where we have this RCCB that is supposed to detect that fault and trip. So in that case, you need to fix this extension. What if when you connect it to the wall socket, they still receive an electric shock? Then you go ahead and check that socket. Maybe the wires of the face are in contact with this earth connection here. And they are not also sending a signal to trip, a circuit breaker or a safety gadget here. Then it means that that port will remain here and it will travel all the way to that iron box or whatever appliance that has been connected on that extension or to this socket outlet here. So you must be able to fix that. Also, there could be an instance whereby someone is taking a shower and they are receiving an electric shock. Now, in most cases, whenever you're using these instant shower head, you find that it is faulty inside. If it is faulty, then it will send the charges all the way to the water that is flowing out or the tap that is used to turn the water on. In that case, it may indicate that this earth connection is faulty and is not able to take the excessive charges from this gadget all the way to the ground. Another problem is if this earth connection is broken, it will not be able to conduct all the excessive charges or leaking charges to this part here of the consumer unit, which is the earth bar, and so that it can be sent all the way out to the meter box and to the ground. In case that happens, then that customer will receive an electric shock. So you must be able to find that problem and fix it. The instant shower head uses this double pole switch. In the double pole switch, we have the connection for the face, the neutral, and the app connection. In case those wires come in contact with each other here, they will send all the charges to the instant shower head, therefore causing pain whenever someone is taking a shower or touching that knob. So you must also check on this switch here. You're probably asking, John, how do I check that? Do I use my eyes or what? Now, here is where this meter comes in handy. This is a digital multimeter. If you're taking the voltage readings between the earth and the neutral, that is AC readings, it must give you 240 that is for our case here, whereby the face and neutral gives us a reading of 240. That will also mean that between the neutral and the earth, there is that bonding which has been done at the cutout level. If you do not get that reading, then it means that your earthing is not continuing. It is 40. And you must check where that disconnect is and be able to fix it. Now you will find that here at the meter box, the earth connection is loose. 
when it is loose then it means it will compromise how the excessive charges will be conducted all the way to the ground or back to the source which is the transformer so you must be able to check that another point where you can have a fault in terms of earthing connection is at the consumer unit you must be able to check for all the connections the earth bars are very important are all the connections tightly done number two have those screws been screwed on the insulation because it will mean that there is no conductivity there you must be able to fix it so that the flow of charges will be continuing all the way to the ground let me know in the comment section if you have found value in this video and if you have any question if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe and i will be guiding you on more of these topics concerning electrical connections see you my name is john